Hey, chestnuts. Now we have a game suggested by a Redditor. So, this, he got a, this, this, this game was upvoted a couple times. All right. Now I posted a thread there and here, he was one of the people who commented suggesting this game and I thought it was pretty interesting. I agreed. So their username is Vizvezdinek. Uh, or Vizve, yeah, Vizvezdinek. And you can find uh, what his username is at the bottom at the description of this video. So yeah, I mean, if you guys want to suggest a game, and if I look at it and really like it, or maybe it has a bunch of likes, and maybe uh, that means that people like it, I I'll, I might make a video out of it. So be sure to do that in the comments. And let's get started. Ooh. All right, so we this is a game from the Top Chess Engine Championship 2019. It's so good. It's Stockfish versus versus Ali Stein, and Ali Stein is a neural network um, uh, chess engine that was dominating um, the preliminaries, and it made it to the finals. Right, so let's see let's see what Stockfish had in store for AI. Okay, d4, oh, knight to f6, d4, okay, this looks normal, e6, knight to f3, we have b6, okay, um, usually in the Catalan, uh, d3, when, with, with, um, I mean, I guess this isn't barely a Catalan, um, you can also call it Part of the queen's indian because we have these bishops right here but um usually in the catalan if you end up getting this bishop to this diagonal pretty good black can test this strong bishop here all right bishop to b7 then bishop to g2 bishop to b4 check okay classic queen's indian you know these two bishops doing bishop things on their diagonals bishop to d2 to block then bishop to e7. You don't really want to trade uh, both your bishops right now, right? Um, this bishop is still super flexible, and it's your good bishop not being blocked by pawns, these light squared pawns. Okay, so we just the uh, well, the point of that move was just to make uh, black play this move and maybe have a less flexible options and rather than play uh, knight knight two two. Right, so now white has to play knight to c3 in order to develop this knight. We have castles, queen to c2, then knight to a6. All right, now aiming for this square. And if it goes here, it's blocking this beautiful diagonal. So, right. And then now we have a3 to stop the knight from hopping here. Another possible move. Um, the possible move that I can do is e4, right? Or uh, e4, sorry, and then d5 to contest the center. Okay, this is also pretty playable. Um, yeah, a3, and then we have c5. This is pretty standard. Um, it's it's actually a uh, book moves up until this move, so this is the last of the book moves. Now it will give us mind blowing moves. Every move. Well, they give us pretty good moves after that. So this so this is the end of the book moves, and then now white goes d5. I mean Stockfish goes d5. Now we're seeing the creativity of the engines come into play here. Uh Stockfish can also play e3 to reinforce the center, which is good. Um but I guess it put a lot of emphasis in blocking this diagonal and contesting the center here d5 and then e takes d5 then knight to then knight to g5 right 7 now we have knight takes d5 cuz you don't you don't really want to be you don't really want to be taking this when this bishop can 
capture this bishop right <laughs> that would just be giving up the game so this tension was left here until white finally took knight takes d5 knight c takes d5 c takes d5 we have d6 that closes the position but at least this bishop still has this diagonal to go to okay, e4 okay and then this bishop now should probably go here another possible move which makes the game crazy is h4 and the game could continue like this h6 castles h takes g5 he goes pretty insane but this is also very very playable and as we will see later as how this game transpired um not it didn't transpire like this but you, you will see how it can queen takes seven crazy stuff and in these variations this variation at least if this is allowed to happen why would win with this mate <laughs> um but it's unclear honestly it's unclear um perhaps Ali Stein might find some sort of like refutations. This is what Stockfish thought was best. B5. F4. We have H6. Okay. Going for that. This is a pretty crazy move because now this king is open. Look at all these holes. So many holes. So white's position, although he has a lot of space and black is slightly congested, White really needs to make something happen here because, because uh, the king's literally sitting duck. Okay, if he's not gonna castle. Okay. Right, h4, crazy stuff. This is why this is probably one of the best computer games of the year. It was in the the chess engine finals. You know, for all the chess engine marbles, they can feel things. When they win, they No, they don't, but right before a takes b4. Uh, we could also have here e5 to contest the center and then takes e5, f takes e5, three. It's also for this stuff is played actually, maybe not b3, f takes e5. So this could also go on, okay? Then, uh then we have we could this could also happen a takes b4 we have e5 e takes e5 f takes e5 rook to e8 i'm trying to take advantage of this king to d1 because if you just castle like this uh oh spaghetti o <laughs> well you could just block but that's giving up your bishop Nom, 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 nom. All right, uh, back to reality, baby. So rook, rook goes to e8, and then now king to d1. Um, then we have h takes g5, takes g5, and then knight to h5. This is, this is pretty crazy stuff. All right, this is pretty crazy. So there's this. It's gonna be made, right? And this what this knight is gonna be lost. But if it moves anywhere else, let's say if it goes here, it'll be made. So to block this, it goes to h5. So it blocks this mate right here from transpiring. And now, um, now, like, if rook takes, it's a slight advantage for black. Crazy enough, because. This is the king is very solid, right? At least I think so. I mean, we're just you know analyzing engines like they're on another level than humans. But as we can see, white's king looks pretty open, right? And bishops still have a bunch of potential. Okay, so this is probably why Stockfish did not take that. Look how safe this king looks, and it's going to be very difficult to mount an attack here, as this rook could have to maneuver here since. Um, Stockfish did not castle queenside, so the this rook would have to maneuver and like 
crazy ways in order to even get an attack going or even get into the game so that would be bad taking that night would be bad straight up so what happened was what happened was g6 to make the position weaker and what's crazy is yeah you can take this but you know there's this crazy attack going on here and then you have this so so many weaknesses um bishop takes d5 happens next this is an insane game it's like pretty insane all right if like you take this queen will take that's a pretty dominating position um yeah pretty close here and Dogfish would be in control. Okay. We could also have knight takes g3, then g takes f7 check. And we have king takes e6. Oh, it's not looking good. Look how strong this queen is. This bishop. Yeah. Yeah. Dogfish would be going, yeah. Love it. Then you won't have to go back to, to f6 even right and then bishop c3 check okay b takes c3 and then queen takes king to f5 and then yeah you're just gonna get destroyed here i mean look at these pieces they're not even close to protecting this king it's just, it's just over at this point. there's gonna be a tactic that will end the game so rook takes h5 after this this is completely necessary um so then now we have queen to d7. If uh, if this bishop takes g2, I mean, it looks pretty obvious, right? Why not take this? Well, if you take this and then it's uh, g takes F f7 check, right? King takes f7. Because if you go back here, you're just, uh, this pawn could protect this and you're going to have problems here. You're going to have problems stopping that mate from happening. And to sacrifice a few pieces, maybe actually pretty difficult to stop that. All right, so king takes, and then you would have e6 check, king takes e6, queen to f5 check, and then <laughs> oh man, look to c1 to block all of this, and then queen to b6 if you want to. Um, uh, that's one of the possible moves, and then we have bishop to f4 mate, <laughs> yeah, and if you do. If you, yeah, it's it's just it's just, so you're just you're just gonna get mated at this point. Queen to d7. Not that move. Not bishop takes g2 and opening up this king. This, this bishop is actually acting as a pretty decent defensive piece. All right. So g takes f7 check. King takes. Then now we have rook to e6. Now this rook can find. Oh, that's not. Easy. We can finally get into the game. Woo, 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 woo. I'm rolling, baby. What are you thinking? And um, if you do th this, bishop takes d5 check, queen takes d5, queen to f5 check, bishop to f6, rook to a5, and then it's a pretty cool sequence. If queen takes f5, yeah, I know. Engines like just come up with the craziest stuff like, oh, my mind. Is not mine anymore. No. So yeah. Queen takes a5, and then you have e6 check. Then oh man, rook takes the queen, then queen takes a5. That's one possible. Oh man. This it's just insane. Right. Or you can or you can go queen b3 check. Which actually, um, Looking through it, it actually looks pretty hard for Stockfish to win this one. Because king to e2, right? Rook to e7. Rook to h7. Queen to c4 check. King to f2. King to d4 check. King to f3. And yeah, if if you take this, then Stockfish has like initiative now. Right? So it's, but it's, it's still difficult to win this situation because this black king is, um, looks pretty defended. So yeah. Okay, queen to g4 check. After this rook to h6 move. 
We have queen to g4 check. King goes to c1. Queen takes h5. So now, Stockfish really has to make something happen. Something insane in the membrane. Or, you know, white's pieces will just dominate. Bishop takes d5 check. So there's that. This bishop looks even more powerful than that rook did now. King goes to f8. And then now we have rook to h6. Quadruple exclaim. Quintuple exclaim. Most insane move in the game. Wait. So. I will give you a couple of seconds to see what black. To see if you can figure out a couple of minutes maybe. What black plays. Well, no matter what black plays, actually black 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 lose. <laughs> but let's see if you guess what uh, what could possibly happen. Okay, so if we're, queen takes this, then that's just an easy bishop takes, and then this king is really open. Not gonna not gonna take long for this queen to go in here and avoid the king. So that is not happening. And then uh, if g takes h6, then there's this awesome queen sack that you can see if you can find it, actually. Okay, this one's a real one. This one's a real puzzle. I believe in you. You will become a chess engine. Just put, put a chip in your brain, you know? Just go, oh, cyberpunk 2077. Yeah. So yeah, just put that chip in your brain and you're good to go. You know, you become a cyborg. So if you're like a cyborg. Let's see if you figure it out. Oh, you could have probably figured this out. It's not, it's a, it's a theme, right? It's a theme. Uh, queen there, check. Then there's this beautiful mate. Oh, look at that beat. But, uh, gotta think about it. I'm gonna meditate for like 30 minutes. Okay. Yeah, queen to h6, you lose the queen. So, what happened was g6, and then the game is pretty much over at this point. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty much one of the one of the few defensive moves you can actually make, which won't end the game immediately. But at this point, white's winning horribly, and I think perhaps they're just eight g6 check. Game is over. Queen to g7, but Ali Stein let the game go because you know Ali Stein is a is a is a very a good sport for an AI you know good sport. Rook takes c8. Queen takes c8. Bishop to g5. It looks it looks pretty pointless, but their moves were played. And then Queen h8 made. Yep. Oh man, such a. I just gotta, I just gotta soak that in. I might actually go over this game again once, once uh, I'm done with this recording this, because this is just insane in the membrane, baby. So yeah, that's that's one of the wins that Stockfish got to win the um, Top Chess Engine Championship this year, and uh, I mean this past year, and it's one of the best chess engine games of the year. So yeah. All right, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit that like button like a clock. That subscribe button like a clock because you want to see this beautiful face, don't you? Or if I'm not beautiful, at least I'm something special to you. And then hit that notification bell like a clock. And thank you. Even if you just watched it and you're just chilling, you know, it's fine too. You don't have to, you know, no pressure. Anyways. Catch you guys in the next video. Yes. Catch you guys. I love you all. I love you all.